East Ugly Lawan, South Strong Abbey, West Mode Anger, North Fat Roy, they are considered to be the ugliest female characters in recent years. In this video, let us discuss the aesthetics of each gaming company. First of all, the first one is Heavyweight. Ah, East Ugly Lawan's Lost Light 2 brought by Polish game company Teklin never dreamed that the popularity of the game was actually due to the ugly heroine. When I played the plot where the heroine appeared, the heroine's mask fell off. At that moment, WTF, it is no exaggeration to say that my heart stopped. Why does he look like a gorilla? It's not that when I was thinking about the trailer, the heroine doesn't look like this either. You co-authored it, and the official also knew that the heroine was ugly, right? The trailer was released to avoid scaring the players away and she specially added a beauty load, right? So you after playing games for so many years. I've never seen a trailer for a beauty game before being exposed to false propaganda and overmarketing. Looking at this face, I really can't stand it. And that's not the most unbearable part of the game. The character of the heroine in the game is extremely arrogant to everyone. She looks like she owes her as much as she deserves. I really want to go to the game and strangle her to death. Look at the sharp work who are also the directors of the Polish factory, Jenna and Judy. They are all beautiful and unique and have unforgettable charisma. Even if you are not compared with others, even if you are compared with others, you are good. The characters in Dying Light Zero are also okay. Dying Light also has many good-looking female characters. If it doesn't work, it's okay to show the heroine in the trailer. What does it mean to give us a big heart mirror? Or is it a bad-tempered one who is blaming the sky and the earth? I really can't live without this political correctness. All I can say about Teklin's aesthetic is bullshit. Please invite the next naughty dog puncher, Abby. Today, we are going to talk about the matter. I won't talk about Abby's murder of Joel in the plot. I will just talk about his appearance when I first played it. I'm really stupid. If it weren't for the distinction between men and women in front of the subtitles, I wouldn't have been able to tell that I was playing a female character. But considering the background of the game, it's apocalyptic. I can understand that the heroine is stronger, but I don't want to give this entire double-door refrigerator to the player. And I seriously doubt that Naughty Dog is deliberately disgusting the player, forcing the player to control a new character, or killing the protagonist of the previous game. I can accept everything in the plot. What I can't stand the most is why we are forced to watch the intimate scene between Abby and Owen. I'm here to play games, not to watch the writers mix in private goods to show political correctness and Naughty Dog's aesthetic. They have the ability to do a good job, but they just want to discuss the players. I'll eat shit for you if it won the next best game of the year. It was brought by Santa Monica. When I first saw the trailer of God of War 5, I noticed something was wrong as soon as the black girl appeared. Is it reasonable for a black girl to appear in the Nordic mythology? The storyline of Sister is also stinky and long. It lasted about two or three hours and made me want to put down the controller countless times. Am I playing God of War or Lizard War? I just want to play Kratos and Atreus. I am not here to fall in love with the muddy girl. I personally feel that the rhythm of the entire game is disrupted by the plot of the her. I can totally say this. It's the downfall of the game. I don't ask you to make it as beautiful as a fairy. At least choose a white woman who fits the background. Finally, there is Northern Loy brought by Guerrilla Games. In fact, Loy is actually better than the above ones. I don't know why there are so many people on the internet trolling AOI Roy Shin. Although it's not as good as Tifa or Alice, the top star, it's not to the extent that the entire internet is trolling it. I can only say that the most normal main character in this video is it is against the backdrop of the previous three heavyweights that I now see that Aeroy, who is only a little baby fat, has a pretty face. The four major defiances are over here. Let me know what do you think in the comments.